Generally, Elections Day in the city saw the commercial areas devoid of usual activity. Even the taxi service took some time to respond to customers' requests. Regent Street was deserted of vendors. The stores were all closed. Wooden shutters for some, but the majority had aluminum shutters covering the usual glass-fronted store display windows. Only some market vendors hawking fruits were at their stalls. The silence of Regent Street was broken by the intermittent buses and cars that passed by. The calm of central Georgetown was shattered when calls about the disruption at the Lodge Community High School in Lodge came through. Police were called in and responded. The residents said that presidential liaison Kwame McCoy was at the location to deliver meals to the PPP representatives there. Because I say he's not supposed to be in there, he's a lunch boy today. Yeah. And if he's a lunch boy, he cannot come and conduct nothing. He put out the girl and he and put out the girl outside and he won't sit inside. There were a lot of very vociferous and angry people on the streets um, at the time. There was a very large police presence and I went there and I spoke with the people. I asked them to keep their eyes wide open and keep their mouths shut and to kindly return to their houses and stay calm. But we had a few hours left, and APNU wanted to ensure that for those few hours that were left, we wanted to have no disruption whatsoever. Dr. Rupert Rupnrein of the APNU later this afternoon. It seemed that residents in that area responded by heading to the school. But on the East Coast, it seemed that voters heeded calls to get out early and vote early. By just around 10 this morning, most of the polling station on the east coast of the Marara had trickles of people waiting to vote. By 11, all had disappeared from the polling places we visited. At the latter time, most of the places had only Elections Day staff. In Buxton, the residents there said at around 3.30 this morning, those who were sleeping were awakened by drumming, bell ringing, and youngsters running through out the village shouting, get up and get out to vote. No one seemed to be waiting at 10 o'clock when we visited those polling station. We found this the only group waiting to vote at a polling station at Bride's Lust along the railway embankment. That was around 10.30.